We had one dude take our trap out one day, act like he was gonna break it. It's like I can take all your shit. Yeah, that, that's, that's why I call it the asshole. <laughs> like, the, 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 oh, you already started cameras and all that? I don't know how to shake San Francisco. I don't know how to shake San Francisco. I don't know how to shake San Francisco. Before we get started, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. There you go. All right. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Hey, is it? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we out here in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Or it's St. John 2 and 15. Oh, yeah, quick, boy. <laughs> <laughs> boy. <laughs> quick draw, man. <laughs> and, and, when, and when he had made a, a scourge of small cords, he drove No, them. I'm sorry. Uh, first John 2 and 15. I'm sorry. Oh, this be good. That was a little too fast. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's a good one too, though, because yeah, that was going into the Lord beating people for their wickedness. Because yeah, in the John two, the Lord Yahweh Shai went up in the temple, and there was people in there taking advantage, stealing people's money, selling stuff in, in the temple, making merchandise of the word, just like modern day preachers do. They make merchandise out of the Bible. So the Lord went in and just started beating them with a whip. You know what I mean? Flipping tables. Yeah, flipping tables. He didn't even beat that that cattle. He was even hitting the animals. You know what I mean? He just beat everybody's ass. <laughs> the Lord, the Lord is a very strict man. It's not somebody you want to disappoint. Go ahead. First John two and fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Right. So that people always like God is all love. God don't hate. Well, the one you call God said, love not the world. You ain't supposed to love this wicked ass world. Right. And all these wicked ass people. Right. You know, you know what I mean? It's a world full of adultery, liars. Most people are liars. You can't take nobody's word. The average person's word is worth shit. You know what I mean? You can't believe nothing these people say. They're untrustworthy, unreliable. They got no honor, no integrity. You know what I mean? But them words, are, a word like honor and integrity don't mean nothing to a two-thirds. You know what I mean? If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right, any man love the world, the love of his Father is not in him. Because loving the world is all about, like, these people, all they care about is getting their new Jordans. I got my new J's. Like, that was original. Everybody got J's. You know what I mean? That's just not even original no more. Oh, that's all they care about is some, uh, some bullshit, some material bullshit. Talking about getting money. We be out here teaching the Bible. Jay could come up like, yo, what y'all talking about is bullshit. You just need to worry about getting money. That's all they thinking about. What? Huh? Jacob, Jacob. Jacob is short for Jacob, Israel, Israelites. You got a sign out here? Okay. Well, the, the Israelites, well, you show that brother right there. But that's the, uh, because we the Israelites, the descendants of Jacob. Because Jacob was a man whose name was changed to Israel. So verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Oh yeah, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. That's what America is all about, is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. Look at Christmas. Christmas, all these people out here, they celebrate Christmas, which is actual Baal worship. Christmas is devil worshiping. That's right. And, and it's all about the lust of the eyes. That's why the woman is on to Christmas. It's all about the lust of the eyes. She want to decorate the whole house, putting the bulbs on the tree, put little decorations all through the house. You know what I mean? Wasting all your money on a bunch of Christmas decorations. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that lust. That's why these women out here, they're the least spiritual of anybody. That's all they care about is the lust of the eyes. Always got, they're going to waste their whole paycheck on getting their nails done. You know what I mean? Getting a new pair of shoes, getting their hair done. Yeah. And the pride of, of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Right, the pride, all the pride of life. These, these fools, they got the pride of life. That's why Jake always think he's the best. You listen to that rap music, it's all a bunch of uh, crap. crap. It's, yeah, it's crap. It's shit. He's a, he's a demon anyway. Yeah. But all that little bullshit country music they listen to is bullshit too. You know what I mean? Hey, music. Hey, right. Yeah, right. Well, what I'm saying though is like this. You listen to rap music, what's it about? The rapper is the greatest person on, on the planet. Nobody's better than him. He, you know what I mean? All they talk about is adultery, I fucked your bitch. All they talk about is robbing people, hitting licks, yeah, stunting, selling drugs, you know what I mean? Flipping uh cake, cooking cakes, whatever they can say. You know what I mean? Right, that's that's some bullshit. You know the Lord ain't ain't dealing with that. The Lord ain't trying to hear none of that shit, man. 
And it, it, like the rappers, the people in that rap hip hop spirit, they got that proud spirit. Everybody got to be number one. It's all about, you know, everybody's number one. You know what I mean? I got to go ahead. Hey, this is Psalms chapter 40, verse 3. It's saying, He has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise to our most high, to the most high, that many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, it's a new song. This new song is this Bible. You know, because it sounds new to you. You ain't heard it broke down the way we breaking it down, which is the proper and the only way. You know what I mean? Because all, all these people out here have been teaching the Bible for years and years. They, they don't know that. They don't the Lord's not dealing with them. They don't know no scriptures. They still celebrate Christmas. Still celebrate Easter. You know Easter, right? You know what that is? Right, it's pagan. You know what I mean? And, and the churches know it's pagan, but they, they they still do it anyway. You know what I mean? That's a wicked spirit. Well, uh, this is church right here. Because the church is a, uh, a church is a, a people before it's a place. You know what I mean? This is the church. And each brother right here is a brick. All the Bring all the bricks together. You stack them up. You got a, you got the, the temple of the Most High. I got some else for life. It's Revelation chapter fourteen and three. It's saying they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man can learn that song but the hundred and forty-four thousand. Uh, yeah, no man. Oh, it's like it. Yeah. Now, well, read that last part again. Mm -hmm. well, sure. It's saying and no man can learn that song but the hundred and forty-four thousand. Which were redeemed from the earth. So the 144,000, that's the elect, the governing body of Israel. Okay, that, that's the first fruits. You read right, they said they're the first fruits. So, uh, and the only people that's going to fully understand this, this truth and these breakdowns and these mysteries is that 144,000, the elect. I mean, there's going to be a lot more people delivered than that. But one third of Israel going to be delivered. But there's going to only be the 144,000 that's going to be the leader. The teachers, the prophets, you know what I mean? And that's a very small number. Now, how many people is on the planet Earth? Like, seven billion. Seven, they, 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 yeah, seven billion. They, they don't know. But billions and billions, right? So what percentage is 144,000 out of seven billion? That's a small percentage. That's why the Lord said what? He said, many are called, but few are chosen. So this ain't for everybody. You know what I mean? And two thirds of the nation of Israel is gonna be destroyed, man. They say Israel is, is the amount of sands in the sea, man. So majority of population is Israelites, actually. The yep. Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, they don't see Indians. Those are the Israelites. And two thirds of our people are gonna be put to death because they're not gonna receive this in the song, or they're not a part of the one third. That's a good point. Like the brother just said, uh, Israel is really the most numerous people on the earth. Oh, yeah, that's is, they as numerous as the sands of the sea, and they've been scattered. Uh, song 33 and 33. Are this some more, some more edification as far as like this song, you know, this word like being like a song? Boy made his exit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's bad. It's not for everybody. I'm out of here. Hey, you heard it, though. Might go home and think about it. <laughs> All right, well, St. Matthew 11 and 16. But well, whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows, and saying, We have piped unto you, and and ye have not danced. All right, right, we here piping me, and, like we're blowing on the trouble. We out here playing an instrument, which is his word. We out here playing this song, and y'all ain't dancing. Y'all supposed to be dancing, meaning you supposed to awaken to the truth. And that's why we dancing to the truth, you know what I mean? Doing that waltz. We are mourning them to you, and ye have not lived. Right, we out here mourning. Because if you're not out here mourning, there's something wrong with you, man. Because the scriptures say, What is that? Surely oppression make it a wise man mad. So if you're not out here mourning, hey, somebody give me uh, Proverbs 29 and 2, if you will, please. Mm -hmm. This Proverbs. Proverbs 29 and 2 It say when the righteous are in authority The people rejoice But when the wicked bear rule the people mourn Yeah when the righteous are in authority People rejoice and ain't nobody out here rejoicing Everybody's out here in sorrow Always complaining Wondering how they gonna pay their bills Pay their rent How they gonna pay that ticket Pay that insurance 
You know, pay, all these payments you gotta make. We all subject to all these payments. You can't you can't even live and survive in this in this country without money. You know what I mean? But ain't nobody out here rejoicing. Oh, that's why y'all see uh, Antifa. Y'all know Antifa, right? Oh, God. They said they about to start the Civil War on November 4th. Now, why is all these protests and riots breaking out all over the country? That's because the, 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 the wicked are in power. That's why. Because when the righteous are in power, people are going to be rejoicing. You know what I mean? Because when we come into our power, when the Lord come back, we come into our power, we're going to be in paradise. <laughs> ain't going to be no more of these wicked laws. Ain't gonna be no paying rent. Oh, that's a good scripture. Uh, in the kingdom, we're gonna be paying no rent. Only the devil will charge you to live on this earth. You know what I'm saying? That you were born on. Right. Right. We both born on the same planet, and somebody gonna tell you you don't have the right to be on this planet unless you pay me. And that's why all these devils they gonna go into slavery too. These Edomites that got us in this captivity. We in captivity. So these Edomites has ruined this world. Years later, this is the so-called white man. They're going to go into slavery. And that's going to be their reward. And our reward is going to be for them to be our slaves. Go ahead. But in Psalms 544 and 9, it says, Deliver me, O Lord Yahweh, from my enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my power. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. And really, too, that's this right here. This is how the Lord led us right here. Because this right here is what's going to deliver us from the evil. And deliver us from our enemy. It's doing this work. This is the only way you're going to make it. If you ain't out here doing this work, chances are you ain't going to make it. <laughs> I mean, the chances ain't too good for you. Oh, you good. Not spirit. We like that river. You got to flow with the water. <laughs> yeah, flow like water. Hey, we if you white, uh, what's that? That they be doing the uh, the kayaking. You kayaking down in white water rapids. Well, you better go with the water. <laughs> you can crack your head on a rock. It is Psalms 33, verse 3. It says, Sing it to Temu new song. Play skillful with a loud noise, for the word of the Lord Yahweh is right, and all his works are done in truth. Yeah, all of his works are done in truth. That's why we out here bringing this truth out, man. This is a serious. These people out here ain't got no. Not, the average person don't got a clue. They, they ain't got a clue. They don't know anything about history. They don't know nothing about politics, the way the world works. They don't know nothing. All they know about is football. That, that's their God is football. What's poppin' y'all? I've been saying this shit for years. What's goody with y'all? What y'all doing down here, man? Our Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that, that have been before me and before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. Hey, that's a good answer to your question. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? Read that again. The prophets that have been before me and before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's why we that's what we prophesying against America. There's a number of war, evil, and pestilence coming out here. Show you the fuck right. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, you know, <laughs> I definitely agree. Ain't no scripture in the Bible that says you can't say fuck. I agree wholeheartedly. You see what Trump talking all that uh, stuff to uh Kim Jong-un calling him Rocket Man. Trump said he gonna destroy North Korea. And North Korea, they don't like that. They ain't having that. They gonna shoot them missiles. Yeah. America gonna eat missiles. You ever hear about the Lake of Fire in the Bible? Yeah. That's gonna be America with all them missiles uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. gonna, all these buildings, they all gonna be leveled. They gonna get pulverized, <laughs> turned into dust. I that's going to be a beautiful day. We got somebody out here spreading the truth, man. Y'all fellas keep going with y'all doing. Salute. They're basically all, do you know what your nationality is according to the Bible? Huh? Do you know what your nationality is according to the Bible? If I'm not mistaken, Hebrew or Israel. Uh, you know, why ain't you out there teaching? Huh? You should be out there on the streets teaching. I, I, I don't know enough. 
to actually around, sit bro. down and lead somebody else. I'm still I'm still in the following stage, man. I I I need more information. Cause you get into a conversation with somebody who studied more than you, and now all of a sudden you become an underclass. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a contest though. You were, you were the brotherhood. The, the way that people approach information and education, especially in a non-doctor reform, they treat it as such. Right. I and, mean, cause you you do got put to rest people's madness and lies they speaking. But as far as like we ain't trying to act like we better than a brother that he don't know as much or nothing like that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And we are here to teach. See, and this is the circle I need to be a part of for real. Because uh, what Jake's don't understand because like you know like when I was coming to truth, I was kind of the same spirit. But you got to remember that one percent of the truth is a lot more than one hundred percent of a lie. So no matter how much you know, that is you know, that's a hell of a way to break that down. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, like it's not about age or nothing like that. No. It's all about humbling yourself. Bro. Yeah. It's saying definitely. he that humble shall be exalted, and he that exalted so shall be humble. But in right. the it's all about the word of God. You just got a quick story. All right, uh, Isaiah 1 and 18. All right, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. All right, because all, all of us done did some, some messed up stuff. We don't all sin. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like yeah. worthy, we're all worthy of death. Yes, I, I you know definitely agree with that. I definitely agree. So that's why that's that's why even more reason why we gotta do this right. work. You know, I was it's, it's how you wash your hands. I was in the streets, you know, and your monetary value. That's what that's almost like religion in the neighborhood that I grew up in. You know what I'm saying? What's that? Monetary value. Oh, you getting paid? Yeah. Right? That's all people care but about. The, yeah, exactly. And it wasn't until a couple of cases, a couple of injuries, you know what I'm saying, that I actually sat down and started reading. It, it, it took me eight, it took me an 18 month bid to sit down and actually sit down with people who actually had any knowledge about themselves. Right. You know. So now this, this is I go I study and I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to launch a uh, a fitness program for people for um in rehabs, you know, people with diabetes, you know, you, you alter the way you eat, you alter right. the way you live, you alter the way your body reacts to certain things, you know, and that's what we're trying to do now. I got a small little circle, but I definitely feel like what y'all doing is way more important. So, <laughs> I mean, fitness is part of the truth. I mean, there's dietary laws in the scriptures. It tell yes. You, it tell you you're not allowed to eat pork, no catfish, no shrimp. Because you know? they're bottom feeders. Right. It's yeah. Nasty, yeah. It's just like eating a roast. So, <laughs> so yeah, I definitely get. Like I said, man, I'm not there, but I am closer than a lot of people that I hey, associate that, uh, with. Romans 13. Uh, we ain't got a whole lot of time, man. The time is. The, you check. You ever seen the Doomsday Clock? Yeah. What is it like? Two minutes till midnight on the Doomsday Clock? Yeah, they moved it up, meaning the end is coming, that nuclear war is coming, you know what I mean? I should, what they say, this shit's about to hit the fan. It definitely is. I'm, uh... You see what happened in Houston? You see what happened in Puerto Rico right now? Yeah, Mexico. So what happens if the electric go out here like it did in Puerto Rico? It's going to get savage out here. Yeah. It's going to get savage. What'd you say? Take a knee for Jesus. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Take a knee for Jesus. Oh, Take a knee for Jesus. Take a knee for Jesus. Take a knee This is all our first Timothy 4 and 8. For bodily exercise prof profit is little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise like, of the life that now is. <laughs> and don't have to come. Right, hey, that's true, though, because at the end of the day, these bodies are pieces of shits anyway. Yeah. Excuse my French. They are. But, you know, it's Especially just, if you misuse bodies, them. Our bodies are weak. They break down. Mm -hmm. You can try to be as healthy as you uh, want to be. The Lord will still hit you with a curse, mess up your knee, throw your back out. So that, uh, every time I uh, try to get into like some sort of like bulking program, though, that shit usually happens. Uh, like, usually like, my hamstring gets fucked up for a couple months. Either, uh, I don't know, like a headache. Yeah. Right. Oh, life. Right. <laughs> right. Definitely. 
in the kingdom back in the uh in the ancient world we we was like superheroes yeah you read the story about samson right yeah you see say you see the strength of samson right he was so strong that he uh he ripped the uh the doors off the gate of a wall of a city yeah yeah i mean but soon we're gonna get that power back you know what i mean because over the years our bodies have got weaker and you know where that scripture in the apocalypse it says that the ones that came before us were the second second chapter yeah because you see when Joshua was an old, I think Joshua, you know the story of Joshua, right? So, so. When they went through the land.